me always looking like death whenever I start a video. Mm, mm. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very special day. I am gonna go over all of my designer things. And I'm not gonna lie, as I was getting them all out, I was like, I've spent a lot of money on handbags and other things. <laughs> I don't really know where to start. I have it all laid out on my bed. This is insanity. Okay, all right, so I have listed everything that I have purchased. Hello, little one. How are you? Corgi. Everything that I've listed in here with the price that I purchased at, uh, because some of it is pre-loved, so I've bought secondhand, which I think is amazing. I think we should all be purchasing secondhand. Um, Honestly, it's just better for the environment and a more sustainable way of fashion, basically. So I think I might start with the Marc Jacobs uh, collection that I have. I love Marc Jacobs. Oh, gorgeous. So of course the sun goes in and out as I... And planes fly overhead. Are, are we done? Okay. So first things first, I have two things from Marc Jacobs. They are the camera bags. They are... They are these bad boys right here. Oh my God. Wow. What is it like to have like a normal life and not be a complete mess? Wow, that took a lot longer than expected. These are the camera bags from Marc Jacobs. Either they can be clutches or they can be crossbody. I have it in black and I also have it in beige or tan. Um, I got these from Nordstrom. Both of them got them from Nordstrom. Um, these retail for about $325 each. So I did get these from Nordstrom, has an amazing um, collection of Marc Jacobs and I got this from Nordstrom. Love these guys, they honestly, I have taken off the strap and used it as just a clutch and I have also used them as crossbody. So really, really love it and they're big enough to hold my phone. Like that's, let's face it, like if it's big enough to hold my phone, I'll take it. Everything that I have pretty much stays in their dust bag inside their box. So I always take really great care of my designer things because you can always sell your designer things. They are investment pieces. They can always be sold again for new things. So a lot of these things don't really lose their value. They may use, lose a little bit of value, but not too, too much. So Marc Jacobs camera bags. Next up from Marc Jacobs is the tote bag. This is actually the person I'm using right now, so please, it's a little heavy. So this bag, I get the most compliments on this bag. This bag is absolutely gorgeous. I saw it in the window of the Marc Jacobs store, and I was like, oh honey, I must have you. This like camel color uh, leather is just chef's kiss, and it. this is the medium size. This comes in tiny, small, medium and large or maybe just like small medium large i don't know but it comes in like three or four different sizes this is like the medium one you can it can be a crossbody which is always great i love bags that have crossbody or they have top handles that you can just kind of like hold it with so this bag amazing i always suggest at least the medium size or bigger depending on what you typically carry with you i tend to carry a lot of crap with me so let's not get started on that so yeah, the medium size was absolutely perfect for me and I love this color. This is a color that I can absolutely use year round. Highly suggest this one. And this is the back. I would show you guys inside, but like literally it's a mess, like I can't. Next up, oh, I'm sorry, wait, wait. I am jumping the gun. The Marc Jacobs tote, that retails for about $450 brand new for the medium size. I'm not 100% sure what the smaller sizes or the larger size is, but the medium one is starts at 450 US dollars. Next up is my first Dior purchase. I, um, I love Dior, but Dior is extremely expensive. I'll get there one day though, I'll get there one day. I actually purchased this pre-loved. This is the Dior. I honestly just love the color of it, to be completely honest, but it is the Dior Velvet Clutch if you guys can see that. Like, look at that. Look at that color. That color is absolutely perfect. Comes with two uh, zippers on either side 
and it is just like absolutely amazing i just love that you could like kind of carry it like around your wrist a little bit and just kind of like hold it to your side or hold it you can take off the chain and just hold it as is like i don't know it was honestly the material for me like that color i'm like i'm a sucker for navy so love 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 this new one i got this off of vestiaire collective it is pre-loved um you can get things on there that have never been worn so this actually still has the plastic on the zippers so if you can see that there um it does still have the plastic on the zipper really dude you're gonna chew a bone right now i swear to god so yeah so i honestly just like i love this i thought it was so chic and the chain the gold with the navy blue for me obsessed obsessed so i purchased that for about 149 dollars i could not find the original price of that velvet clutch i'm pretty sure it's a pretty old design so i don't know i couldn't find the original price but i purchased it off of vestiaire collective for 149 dollars next up is christian louboutin I don't know why I'm smelling things. This was my first and only purchase from Christian Louboutin. Um, I keep these inside the box, not inside the dust bag. Hello? Can we please? No? Okay, that's, that's great. Perfect. Okay, so these are the nude, I'm really awful at speaking French. Pigalle, Pigalle? P-I-G-A-L-L-E. I'll put it on the screen, I can't with this. This is the Pigalle 100 patent leather nude pumps, red bottoms, of course, because that's what Christian Louboutin is all about, them red bottoms, boo. These are my one and only Christian Louboutin purchase, and I have to say it's probably my biggest regret purchase because, um, yeah, I cannot wear these. These are the most uncomfortable shoes pretty much ever. Um, I... I can't wear them they literally they're more of like for a work of art than they are for shoes i have worn them out in public i've worn them successfully i have almost fallen about a hundred times in them though for every successful trip in them i've had about a hundred almost not successful trips if that if that makes any sense these are currently up on my vestiaire collective to sell i yeah i just i honestly i can't with these shoes i freaking love them i'm sorry that you're hearing paw prints in the back guys can we not with the paw prints please hello you're definitely gonna hear my dogs in the background it is what it is these shoes i literally i love them so much i wish they were more comfortable and i wish i could wear them but i just can't so whatever it is what it is okay it was like that like momentum purchase where it was like oh my god i got my first pair of christian louboutins here i am not wearing them so the christian louboutins um they retail for about 795 dollars it is somewhere around 800 dollars yeah i got them a couple years ago and they are back on the market blessings next up is my first ysl eve saint saint laurent ysl it's ysl okay yves saint laurent i think is like kind of how you say it I just freaking butchered that. Anyway, if you thought that was bad, wait till you hear the name. The Cassandre Metalese, Metalese chain wallet. This is the quilted version of this purse. It does come with a gold chain. It looks like this. I love, love, love this purse. I love this purse. It has all of your card holders in here, a zipper pouch, and then two sides on either, um, or two, sections on either side of that zipper pouch here um i love this purse you can't overstuff it but you can fit a pretty decent amount of things in here i i just i love it i love the gold chain it's pretty heavy chain to like it's ysl ain't playing okay they, they making some serious serious stuff over there okay this is the quilted pattern here which i loved I can use this as a crossbody, but I can also use it as a clutch as well. On the inside, the chain just kind of like unbuttons here. So it really, it works both ways. Yeah, I love this purse. This purse is, I love, I just love this. I love YSL. So yeah, so I keep this inside the dust bag, inside the box. So I have all the original receipts to everything for all of my stuff. So if I need to resell it again, I have proof of 
uh, authentication, authentication, authenticity, authenticity. Stick to buying designer handbags. Like I, I cannot. So the YSL chain wallet that retails for about 1,790 us dollars. I know I'm crazy, okay? Before anyone says anything, I know I'm crazy, but I love designer. I love designer. There's something about designer. It's it's a work of art in my eyes, and I just love it. And if you thought that was bad, we're moving on to Louis Vuitton now, and I have a lot of Louis Vuitton, so y'all can just stab right now, okay? Because I can't. Next up, we're moving on to Louis Vuitton. My stomach hurts. I'm, I'm gonna, I don't even know. Can I post this video? I don't even know. I'm gonna probably get a lot of judgment. First up, since it's right here in front of me, it is the Louis Vuitton Keep All Banjulier. Banjulier. It is from their luggage section. This guy right here. <laughs> this is the 55. It comes in 45, 50, 55, and 60, I believe. This is the 55. It comes with a crossbody attachment. Plus it comes with the handles as well. I got it in the brown monogram print. Total cliche purchase for Louis Vuitton, but I loved it so much that I was like, I don't even care if these things are cliche. I'm obsessed with them and I will be a basic I guess. So yeah, I did get the luggage tag monogrammed with my initials because they do that there. Um, I love the stuffle bag. I've only used it a few times, which is why the leather is still extremely light. Your leather will start to turn a little bit darker as you have it um, for longer and use it. So there is a bunch of crap in there because I actually had to use it today for a photo shoot. So I figure why I have it out and there's like stuff in it and you can see how big it is. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So the Kipo Banjulier 55, that retails for about $2,570. And if that wasn't enough, I just went and got the toiletry bag to match because why wouldn't I? So the, this is the Dop Kit Toilet Pouch. Dop Kit Toilet Pouch. Toilet. Probably in something like fancy French, it's like toilet pouch. But no, okay, we South Jersey up in here. We South Philly, South Jersey is toilet. Stop it. So this one right here, it opens, you pull the handle, it opens oh, this way. And then it has a magnet in the front there. And you just kind of open it. And then you hold this tab in the back and you zip it again. So I really wanted the vanity bag, the, yeah, like the vanity bag that they have, um, but they didn't have it in stock. And I just really wanted a toiletry bag, so I went with this one. And I have to say, I actually do love it. I fit a lot more in here than I would the vanity bag. So these two always uh, come with me whenever I travel or go anywhere. Um, and I love them. Even if they are cliche, then let me die a cliche. So the Dop Kit Toilet Bat Pouch, that retails for about $960. Next up from Louis Vuitton, the Louis Vuitton aviators. Now I, I purchased these a couple years ago, so I, I don't remember the original price. Um, I believe the comparable like aviator that they have online now, they retail for about $765. And that's about how much these retail for retail for I think I paid like 700 some for the I think they were like 765 so um the comparable ones they have on now they do not have the like little um Louis Vuitton chain here they're just kind of like more sleek um but I love 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 these glasses I do look really good in aviators <laughs> So they retail for about $765. They come with a little dust bag and they come in a ginormous case, but I did not feel like going out to my car and getting the case because I was like, just not having it. No. Nah. Next up from Louis Vuitton. This was my very first Louis Vuitton purchase and is it is like the most cliche Louis Vuitton purchase you will ever see. Everyone has one of these bags and I have to say, I don't give a shit. Everyone should have one of these bags, okay? This is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. This is in the uh, white and blue, like cream and blue uh, monogram, kind of like monogram. I forget what this is called. I think this, think this may fall under monogram. I'm not sure. 
Um, I got, also got this um, monogrammed as well. This was my very first Louis Vuitton purchase. I got this like three or four years ago. It's like turn, you see how like dark the leather is turning? Um, yes, it has the pink inside and it also comes with the matching Louis Vuitton pouch. This uh, bag, I'm. it's called the Neverfull and it's literally never full. I can see the logic behind that. Like it quite literally is never full. So love this one. This bag is, ugh, it, I just, I personally, I love big bags that I can literally throw all of my in and then just go. And this bag does it for me. I think every woman should have a Louis Vuitton Neverfull to be completely honest. Like cliche no more. I think it should be like required, a requirement for any woman carrying a lot of with them. The Neverfull. Next up on the Louis Vuitton train. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, I'm, I'm jumping the gun. The Louis Vuitton Neverfull, that retails for about $2,030. But these are the prices now. I went back and researched and got the prices now. These are a lot more than what I got them a few years ago. So just FYI, these prices may be right for now, but not necessarily what I purchased them for. All the, pr all the prices have gone up since then because of COVID. So um, I know Chanel's went through the roof. Like Chanel's like doubled. I can't. They went from like 4000 to 8000 and I can't with Chanel. But the Louis Vuitton as... From what I can see, Louis Vuitton only went up a little bit. I don't believe my Neverfull was over two grand. It was definitely under two grand, I just can't remember. And I have the receipt somewhere, but I don't feel like checking in all my boxes. So it is, you're gonna spend about $2,000 on a Neverfull now. Just keep that in mind. Okay, next up on the Louis Vuitton train is my Louis Vuitton brown planner. I, my business coach from a couple years ago, um, had one of these and she had the larger one and I didn't realize it was the larger one until after I purchased this one and I was like, this seems really small. Of course I got the next size down, but I honestly, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, I had to switch my card there for a second. Okay. I forget where I was. Damn it. Back to what I was saying. So the planner is a little bit smaller than what I had originally thought, but I kind of like the smaller one because it just doesn't take up as much room. So this is originally smaller than what I had planned, but I personally don't mind the smaller one because it doesn't take up as much room. I just search online like uh, Louis Vuitton small planner paper and it, you can literally come up with like a million hits on Amazon and you can just purchase all the paper from Amazon. I purchased these like cute little like calendar things. Um, and it comes with extra paper in the back. It comes with like a card holder, uh, this plastic thing in the, in the front. Like it literally, it, there's a pen holder. There's also a, um, folder in the back as well. Um, and then a whole bunch of like business cards, business card holders in the front here. So for the size, I have to say, I, I truly love this planner. I don't know if I'll keep it forever, but I do love it for right now and it gets the job done right now. And it honestly, I always go for like a bigger planner whenever I'm buying one. And it, I always hate doing that because it takes up so much room. So the small one, honestly, like just having a small planner in general, so much better, even though I want to just like write all over it. It just like forces me to kind of like, like, whoa, Jen, not be so dramatic is basically what I'm saying. So the planner retails right now for $675, which I'm pretty sure that's how much I purchased it for when I got it. I got it a couple years ago and I purchased it along with my sunglasses. Um, it was a little birthday present to me because I worked so hard. <laughs> the planner and the sunglasses were purchased together and I can't remember how much they were, but the planner, um, for the small planner, it retails for about $675 right now. Next up on the Louis Vuitton train. This is actually the last Louis Vuitton thing. I'm obsessed with Louis Vuitton. I love Louis Vuitton. Um, next up is the Sarah wallet in beige tan. It is so pretty. It has just like a plain beige top and then it has the monogram on the bottom portion. There's cart. I love this wallet, by the way. I freaking, I freaking love this wallet. Card holders and holders in the front. There's card holders, card holders in the back, card holders, in, card holders 
in the front here and then two giant sections a section for money a zip pouch and then also a section in the back so honestly this wallet is literally my everything it still smell oh god that leather smell <laughs> it smells so good this wallet i'm obsessed with this was a gift from my husband for christmas or my birthday like a couple years ago <sighs> love this wallet i just love it i just it has it fits all of my crap in there kind of like file all of your receipts in there all your cards change money like whatever it is you can fit inside this wallet literally highly recommend the louis vuitton wallets again this is the louis vuitton sarah wallet and this retails for about 950 dollars now but i don't believe it was that much back then it was like 800 some maybe back then but right now the louis vuitton sarah wallet re retails for about 950 dollars i'm sorry but this is like the best louis vuitton purchase of all time besides like my never full this is probably second okay and then last but not least because my battery is going to die i have made my very first hermes 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 no no it is not hermes it is hermes purchased this year and it is a super small one but i don't even care i have something from hermes and i'm just like oh. i have purchased a pre-loved mind you all of my hermes will be pre-loved until i know i can walk in there and purchase a birkin okay i can get on that waiting list okay you all, you all heard it right now. So this is the Hermes, Hermes card holder wallet. I'm like, this is the smallest thing ever. I don't even care. I was honestly looking for a Chanel card holder wallet. I wasn't even looking for this. And, but I saw this one and I absolutely loved the color of it. And it was just like so chic and like, oh, it's like timeless. It's literally timeless. Um, and I and I just and I just love it. It like looks like a little envelope on either side and it just snaps together with a button and it honestly holds all of my cards in place. Like I I just I love this little card holder wallet. Plus it's amazing to just like slip inside like your back pocket. I I'm obsessed. Like none of my main cards are in my Sarah wallet. I just said I love this wallet and definitely go buy one and then I'm not even using it. I'm using my Hermes card wallet this wallet this card holder pff, amazing i honestly just wanted a chanel one to like hold my business cards and i'm like no i'm gonna i'm gonna get that hermes one and i did yeah yeah i freaking did so if you don't know much about hermes hermes is like a 19th century um horse and like saddle company they made leather goods and saddles for horses they have like a history with very prestigious english like royalty um and like high court and they started creating all of their leather goods and basically um no not english i believe it was is it parisian it might be it might have been like more in paris anyway it they are known for the leather that they make their saddles out of and like this is it and it's just like basically you're just buying it for the name at this point like like it's leather but it's such good leather oh i love it i have something from hermes <laughs> so the hermes card holder typically retails i could not find this this is no longer in stock on the hermes website but i saw some card holder holders and they ranged anywhere from 430 to about 500 dollars um so i'm gonna say this originally full price was about 430 dollars but I got it on Vestiaire Collective for $209.45. So it was more than half price for the cardholder wallet. I absolutely love this wallet. I do not regret buying this wallet. Like, I even have an orange box now. Like, oh, I can add the orange box to my collection. Definitely, definitely more Hermes purchases in the future. I just have to save up all of my pennies first. <sighs> All right, I think that that is pretty much it. That is all of my designer collection, I think. For the most part, I have a few Kate Spades, a few like Michael Kors, but I don't, I see them as designer, but not really high-end designer. These are my more high-end designer purchases and ones that I absolutely cherish. And I see them as works of art. I don't know, I'm just like made for this life, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for this video. I'm heading out. I'm going to put all of this crap away. If you have any questions at all on where to purchase any of these, please let me know. I will link 
every single bag down below. Please let me know if you like this video. If so, give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button. And for now, and all of my poorness, because I've spent it all on designer handbags, I'm Jen Daminger. I feel, what am I like on the news now? I'm on the news now, apparently. I'm a news, I'm like a news anchor. All right guys, I'm heading out. It's hot in here. All right, bye guys. <laughs>